Hey guys, Luke here from 3D Tutor. Are you tired of tedious and time consuming process of texturing your models? Well, look no further as this video will introduce you to Blender Artificial Intelligence Texture Projection Tool. This revolutionary tool uses cutting edge AI technology to automatically project high quality textures onto your models, saving you hours of work. But before we get started, on our YouTube channel, we aim to provide an inspirational space for those looking to start a new project or expand their skills. However, as much as we like to devote more time to our YouTube channel, it doesn't exactly pay the bills. That's where Patreon comes in. By becoming a Patreon of 3D Tutorial, you will gain access to bonus content, free online courses, 3D models, environments, material textures, and more. By pledging your support to 3D Tutor's Patreon, you will be helping us to keep working on our projects and equipping thousands of 3D modeling students and artists with the tools they need to take their skills to the next level. So yeah, head on over to our Patreon and thank you for your support. Without further ado, let's get into the video. To start ourselves off, I'm just going to click N on my keyboard to open myself up with a menu in which I already have myself a dream set up and installed as an add-on. I'll attach a link down below on how to set yourself up with a dream. But after you're done setting it up, what you'll need to do is you'll need to make sure that within the add-ons tab, so if I were to go on it and search for dream, you'll need to make sure that you have the right type of module installed. So right now, if we were to go underneath the preferences for this add-on, we'd search depth, like so over in this area over here and we'd be able to find this item over here so all you'd have to do is click download install over here you'd be able to install it and then you should be able to see it on the bottom of the tabs so i have two of them installed so that will mean that basically once we're done with the installation we'll be able to select it from this tab over here so let's just make sure that we have depth module selected like so and we'll be able to work with it now I can pretty much add texture to any type of model I want. So for example, this cube over here, I can turn this into a house with just a couple changes. So I'm just going to go on to edit mode, get myself an edge loop, add a bit of a height to it, and I might as well add a couple of edge loops like so and get some bit of a shape out of this. So something along those lines, I think will do us quite well so we're going to get ourselves this sort of a shape and all we got to do is just reposition our camera to be angled like so making sure that we have angles on both sides visible and also a bit on the top as well so basically we'll have a type of a texture that will allow us to get most of the asset textured and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reposition my camera to be as close to an object as possible without overlapping any of the edges because when it projects for the AI, it'll create a texture based on a height map of the view. So now that we have it like so, let's go on to material viewport shading like so, so we could see what is going on. I'm going to hit tab. To go into edit mode in order to allow ourselves to start the projection with the AI. I'm going to select the entire model by clicking A, making sure that everything is selected. And I'm just going to write in stylized house like so. And all we gotta do now is click project dream texture. This is going to help us get this sort of a result. I don't quite like the way it turned out, so I'm just going to slightly re-angle my camera a little bit. So we'd get a different type of perspective and I think I'm going to lower it down a little bit. Now I'm going to click project again to see what will happen. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get the right type of result. I'm going to click project again. And there you go, something like that is going to look quite nice. Maybe I'm going to try one more time. And so, yeah, once we're done with that, we can always go back to our previous projections. I'm now going to go onto the one I liked after uh, trying out a couple of times. So the way to do it is simply if we were to go on to the UV editing mode, since we're going to make use out of this anyways, we're going to basically find ourselves 
the type of renders from within this tab, we can basically switch from them within uh, by clicking on this button over here and seeing what kind of renders we're getting. I'm going to unclick the entire object so we could see the type of images we generated. And that's pretty much it in regards to the houses. So maybe I'm just going to get ourselves this sort of a look. I quite like this way. I'm just going to make sure I go ahead and enable the viewport shading within my own view like so by scrolling over this top view and just like that we're going to get this sort of a look again um, we're still just seeing this image on the texture port so within our uv port so for us to make sure that we're seeing it within our house we're going to go ahead and just switch between the materials and Every time we generate a new texture map, we basically create a new material with a new color. So we can just simply reassign it. I'm going to go ahead and just simply reassign every single one of them. Or actually, sorry, I need to click A to make sure everything is selected and just kind of click assign. And I'm just going to find the one that we had real quick. It does generate random numbers, so it takes a bit of a guessing in order to go through the list. But yeah, that's the one that I quite like. So it turned out quite nicely, but we might need to readjust some pieces. And one more thing that we need to know is that it basically generates a texture based on the projection. So once we turn, start turning, we can see that the entire mesh has a bit of an artifact. So in order for us to fix that, we'll need to make some bit of adjustment. But before doing that, one more thing before I forget is that once you generate yourself a color texture, what you need to do is you need to make sure you save them out first, because otherwise, if you close it down, it'll give you a black type of a material afterwards. So the fastest way to do that is within a texture paint. If we were to select that, we're going to go on to the texture tools and within a texture tools. Once we go into here, we go on to the toolkit for the texture painting and within here there is a button called save all images once we click that it'll save it within a blender file directly and this will make sure that it stores all the data that was generated by the ai so now that we're done with that let's go back on to the uv editing i'm going to make sure we readjust everything a little bit and first things first i reckon we can readjust the slight angle that we have over here it seems like some of the bits have wide borders i'm going to fix that up real quick sometimes that can happen the best way to avoid it is just to make sure whenever you're projecting you keep uh, the mesh to a basic type of a shape because that'll help you to get a more of a normal type of a looking a depth mask which is then used to generate your texture and if it's too complex basically the ai won't be able to find out what's happening to generate the right type of a texture as you want so now that we go back onto the uv editing i'm going to go ahead and basically select the faces and readjust them so the way to do it is within the right hand corner i'm going to click free make sure that we are within the face selection then i'm going to select the space over here and on the left hand side i'm going to make sure we have the uv selection on and then i'm going to select each one of them individually and kind of click on them click g and basically uh, readjust it to fit more of the shape then afterwards i'm going to go back on the right hand side click free to make sure that we are within a face selection hold shift select multiple faces and now we have a different uv selection on the left hand side and i'm going to click one make sure that we are within the uv edit mode and i'm going to slightly realign them just like that i'm making sure i keep more or less the same proportions as we had previously not readjusting them too much otherwise we'd get a bit kind of a distortion as you can see over here by me exaggerating this point so um yeah making sure that i keep uh, the same type of a distortion as is here and we're going to get ourselves this sort of a look of course this house doesn't have any doors at the moment we can fix that in a second but for now though let's go ahead and fix the other sides as well so the easiest way to do that is basically essentially make use out of the same type of a texture as the front one so i'm going to go on to the back for example going to select these ones over here like so going to click on them making sure i click a to select them all and i'm just going to readjust it just a little bit like so and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of these bottom pieces at once i'm going to kind of readjust them 
click R, rotate them all at once. Again, just to make sure that the uh, uh, ratio and distortion is not too much off. And that looks uh, that looks quite all right, actually. Let's go ahead and rotate the top. I'm going to select the entire top section like so, and I'm just going to slightly readjust it just a little bit like so. I think that's going to be quite all right. We're going to get ourselves this sort of a result. Finally, for the roof, we're going to fix that up as well. I'm going to select them up like this, and I'm just going to actually slightly readjust them. I think I'm going to readjust the horizontal lines like so going to select them all like this and I'm just going to move them accordingly again I'm just making sure that they're not too distorted so I'm just going to make sure that I'm going to have more or less the same kind of a shape as the previous one like so and final one just like that I think that's going to be quite okay actually let's go ahead and see how this looks like and yeah this is the other side so they look quite all right I'm not quite happy about this entire face so let's go ahead and fix it up real quick so this one is going to be going over here basically I'm going to pick these shapes over like so and we're going to get ourselves this sort of a house so yeah, that's pretty much it in regards to getting an asset set up with AI texture projection to be visible from all angles. Since this is already a 10 minute video, I'm probably going to make a second part showing you how to add small detail onto your asset using this method, of course, and how to do a bit of an extra problem solving in regards to this overall type of methodology. But that's going to be it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching and happy modeling, everyone.